greetings to you all thank you so much for clicking on to this video good evening good afternoon good morning depending on where you are watching me from welcome to episode 5 of october series with team Ria. thank you guys for uh, clicking and keeping up with the series so what are we going to talk about today? How are we going to encourage one another today? That being said, let's have a little break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So, when you find yourself you keep you failing keep failing over and over again what do you do where do you run to the things that you put in action to just make sure that you got this thing figured out so with the word of god we are going to read romans chapter 8 verse from verse 31 it's a quite long passage of scripture but we are going to keep up because i'm a fast reader i'm going to be reading very fast because i don't want to waste your time guys your time is too precious my time is too precious nobody needs to waste anybody's time so romans 8 verse 31 then we will jump to verse 35 then we will jump to verse 38 and then 39 so verse 31 says it's under the heading that says more than conquerors what then shall we say in response to these things if god is for us who can be against us ah! i love this very scripture like come to think of it eh? God is a great God. He is a master of the universe. And no argument about that. He's a master of the universe. He is a mighty God. The great I am. Mighty man of war. The great in battle. Jehovah is his name. So, like, if God be for me, who can be against me? nobody absolutely no one you might think you're against me but you're not against me because God is for me the great I am that I am is for me ah guys okay we jump to verse 35 who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sweat? Ah. <laughs> Who shall separate me from the love of God? What could it be that would happen that would cause God to no longer love on me and him separating from me or disowning me? Nothing. Nothing. Not the war between Ukraine and Russia. Not the change of weather, change of seasons. Not sickness, not pain, not hunger, not cold. Huh? Nothing can ever separate me from the love of God. God is for me. And no one can be against me. Nothing can be against me. You need to speak that to yourself. Every single day, when you go through things, when you feel rejected, when you feel people don't want you, when you feel people are hating on you for no reason, tell you, ask yourself, if God is for you, who can be against you? Absolutely nobody. It is just in their illusions. They think they are against you, but they are actually not. Even if they are, God is for you. 
that is more like a kaleru fly that is just flying against you, that is just against you, can never be compared to the love of God that is upon your life. It can never be compared to the grace of God that is upon your life. So we are going to jump to verse 38. Neither hate nor death nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing can ever separate us from the love of God. Nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. He who did not spare his own son because he wanted to save us. What else? Is there anything else? Nothing. There is absolutely nothing. So we move to verse 39. No. Oh, are we done? Oh, sorry, sorry. Verse 38. I jumped to verse 38 to verse 39. So, verse 38 says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers can separate me from God. Hey, yeah, yeah. Ah! This, this... This, this this scripture is doing me well <laughs> this this scripture is doing me well like it is it is doing me well in my body there is nothing absolutely nothing ah that can separate me from the love of god god i thank you i thank you for loving me thank you for choosing me because the bible says that you chose us thank you god Guys, I think this, this, this whole scripture itself is just a whole encouragement. When you are failing in life, nah. when you are failing in life, come back to this scripture. You are not alone. You are loved. You are cared for. You are cherished. You are among the chosen one of God. God's own creation. You are God's own peace. Beautiful peace. You are wonderfully and beautifully and amazingly made. And you are amazing. You are powerful. You are strong. You are able, you are more than conquerors, you are victorious because God has conquered for you. <laughs> Let's come to think of this. Somebody is running a race on your behalf. Win the race and the victory is yours. <laughs> Someone runs a race. They win the, the race and you are the one to enjoy and celebrate the victory. Like, you are the one that will be called a victor and a conqueror because, ah, guys, I don't know if you are not convinced that God is for you. And I'm sorry, I really don't know. I really do not know at this point. But I will not give up. I'm still going to pray. So this whole scripture was just a whole encouragement itself. I feel blessed by it. Just having that assurance. <laughs> knowing that even if human beings do not love you. Even if human beings treat you anyhow. God himself can never reject you. The Bible says, a righteous man might fall seven times. Seven times he shall rise again. You might fall seven times. 
and seven times trust me you are going to rise stronger than before it's just a matter of believing and accepting so with that being said guys i want to pray with you before you go so let us pray and father i thank you for my beautiful viewers i thank you for this day thank you for this opportunity that you have given me to be able to voice out uh, your word to other people god i pray that you may be blessed and your name be glorified and be exalted among all the nations god i pray for these viewers right now if there's anybody that has is going through experiencing some pain that's in his or her life god i just pray that you come Pray, Heavenly Father, that with this word, God, that you will encourage them. Holy Spirit, you will speak to them. You will strengthen them to be, you will help them rise again. You will help them stand strong again. Trusting and believing in your God, that they will learn to put their hopes and trust in you. In Jesus' name, I pray, God, that you continue to guide them, continue to be a blessing uh, in their life, God. Continue to be the God that you are in their life. I thank you. God bless your name. Jesus name. And with that being said, guys, bye. And then see you later.